for a bit of an unorthodox play, going for the mid take at the first round here. MC Splasher plays Predator, gets a pick on their own. X10 Zeus will be trading out Predator here, but gets taken down. Spike down B. Surprise, but I think Zeus is going to be surprised here by how close they're playing this. Asterisk will confirm the kill, almost getting taken down. It's a charm. Let's see if it can actually work. Well, maybe the old adage will ring true here for nope. X10, but in the meantime, it's looking like that. Okay, Fox is here, very sly, finding that opener, but Eeyore, the opposing Sky, will shut him down. Spectre, rather, Stinger in hand, has to hurt. Sushi Boys opening things up on the A side, and that's right for the taking, but Asterisk putting one dot on that. Sushi sliced up, and Scary's gonna get the trade. It's a 2v3 here right now. I think Boom have what it takes to go for the retake. Valent effort there. X10 Cruise takes out NC Slasher Predator. Spectre and Flip Jitters crawling up. I mean, he that was the fourth time he was doing it. Blaze Predator will be taken down. Sushi Boys gets another onto X10 Cruise. One down. And Predator Eeyore is going to be going down. He was using the Judge, unfortunately, not today. He's not going to be the executioner for that one. Foxes makes an entry onto the site. Blaze will go down back site. Now it's going to be a 2v3 situation here. Lockdown has gone down by Asterisk. Nanostorm was a bit too deep. Well, the gravity will keep him on the site for the meantime. The lockdown will try and buy them a bit more time here with the plant for long. That was a pretty good rotation coming in from them. They were like, okay, there's a lockdown here. Let's just rotate on the opposite side of the map and do a counter lockdown play after I get the spike plants. So Zeus and Foxes, they really do have a great idea here, but can they execute this properly? That remains to be seen as NC Slasher and Asterisk move in for the retake attempt. It's obviously planted for long. Nano Swarm goes off. They have about 15 seconds to spare. Asterisk is trying. Oh, he does get the half. NC Slasher, man. No time. Barely. Oh my. Zeus right there lurking towards the mid lane. I'm trying to catch off the rotation just as I say that, he gets a kill onto Flipsjager. Rolling Thunder is in play here. Cosmic Divide to counteract that though. Oh, he finds it through the cloud versus his own there. Zeus finds a double as advertised. Foxes will find Pre Blaze as well. NC Slasher, the only one remaining here. He's able to find that pick off on Zeus, but in a 1v4, well, your foot's already half out the door. Odds are against him. He's gonna walk into the crossfire here. Beautiful coming from Fury at the very least to try and push them back. And there we go. Cosmic Divide is gonna get popped off. Plays Predator with the response using that hunter towards mid or maybe towards C. So they're gonna have to full for push this a site execute is happening utility on out and blaze and Eeyore find one apiece. That's a triple kill right now for Blaze. He's just lit lighting this site. Wait about three seconds before they push on in with this, but look at this, Blaze has no care in the world, he's gonna push with it, and he gets one frag out of it too, lockdown destroyed right in the nick of time, and Sushi Boys, he's just chopping up the offense here, coming in from uh, Blaze. I mean, if Blaze did not have a care in the world swinging around like that, it seems like X10 answers back with the same amount of aggression here. Sushi Boys... He's stepping it up right here, but Eeyore will be taking down Zeus. Gravity well pops off. Foxes gets a double kill. Sushi Boys gets the last KB. He's going to be rotating onto A side here. X10 now playing for the post plant scenario. And Lockdown is going to force them, zone them out of the site here. But Plays King Ooh. on the flank does get Cruise. Oh boy. Oh, Flip Jitter landing the spray down. Asterisk is going to find one, one apiece currently for the members of Boom Esports. And Predator, he finds a second here. You know what's staring me at the face right now is this push from X10. Zeus going to be taking down Eeyore in quick succession right there. They're going for the full retake here. It's going to be a 4v5. Flip Jitter, he does have a Blade Storm. No real reason to use it right now unless he runs out of ammo. Boom Asterisk down to 30 points of HP. And this is a perfect crossfire set up by Zeus and Sushi Boys. This is probably my favorite post-plant uh, positioning right here. Let's see if we can actually make it work as Blaze King takes down Cruz onto A short. They do make it work, Black and Blue. Perfect there, coming in from Scary and Zeus. And even with the information given away. And 
Fox is to be really careful. He might pop flash out of this, but they've crossed each other. And he's going to get the free kill behind him. Almost whiffing the shot there, Flip Shitter. But he's going to get away with it in the sewers. Retrieving the rifle, backing on off. And his blades are reset. So X10 losing that opening pick on Foxy's especially. That's a huge find and boom, Asterisk! He puts an exclamation on that once again. NC Slasher chopping up what's ever. Lockdown is going to be in place in favor of X10. And they're going to get ready for a full on commit here. Lockdown. An expire, but Flipshitter somehow finds it through the smoke there. Lining up the shot before the smoke exploded in his face. Single player detained here, but they will get the plant down. That's the important factor. The ultimate up online, the Rolling Thunder, ready to bring the storm here on Cruise on the 4v5. Make that 3v5. Oh, Rolling Thunder goes out, but doesn't really connect to anything. Sushi Boys with a 2k Foxes. Ats is back as well. Blaze King and NC Slasher gets a pick of their own. It's all down Foxes against Blaze King and NC Slasher. Can he do it? He gets a pick onto Blaze King. On the last round of the first half, can he clutch it out for X10? Oh, okay. he gets it through with a frenzy! Just in case they go and get a bit too heavy-handed on this push coming here from the side of Boom. But as Blaze King is holding down the line, he's gonna, I think, make the call that they want to go for it. You can see them going closer to the lobby, and Fox is gonna land the opening shot. He's so good at that. Sushi Boy's here with the frenzy up close. He gets a double dink! But will not confirm the kill though. Cruz will follow up on that. Astro is going to get the double of his own. But still, some here with the updraft, bringing it to a 1v2. Asterisk very low on him, so he might be able to clutch this. But just as his name implies, there is an asterisk on that possibility. Asterisk down to 22 HP. Does get a dink onto Zeus. Zeus is down to 42. He will be going up on heaven. It could be that Asterisk will be pincered here by Scary and Zeus. He at least gets the spike plant down. Turret is in place. However, there's a turret for the side of Zeus. He does manage to take it out without getting damaged at all. He's going to get... I mean, obviously, these top two teams keep their strategy. Can definitely do some damage up close, but with Blaze King already taken down here for Moom Esports, it might be even more possible. They line up, but he only gets one. A quick radar from Anti Slasher to not let him to do, allow him to do more damage. Is how the plant will go down on that Bravo site X10 here. They are trying to uh, go for the retake. Boom, looking neat so far, but can they make it happen? Somehow Anti Slasher spraying through the smoke finds one on A Link. 3v3 now, Zeus. Over there in Garage, but NC Slasher takes down Foxes. Just uh, a bit of a stalemate right here. NC Slasher is hiding in the smoke. Oh. He does get caught off guard by Scary. Surprise, surprise. They're making this happen still. Not much time left here for Scary. Not much HP either. Not much bullets either in the mag. He does get the kill at the last bullet on Flip Jitter, but there's no time. Look at that swing. And as case in that they need here as the spike once again goes into the mid lane. Makes an entry. Five flips his shirt. Scary though, this take down Eeyore. NC Slasher and Asterix answers back onto Scary and Cruz. And the spike is gonna be planted down here. One enemy remaining. Wow. A quick shutdown on the site and Sushi Boys, he will be the last one to go down. Forcing their win condition onto Planted. Boom Esports. The spike has been planted. Zeus is gonna be putting down that lockdown over there onto Garage. Seekers even goes out. Yeah, they're going to be utilizing everything to secure this round because a lot is riding on it. Lockdown. Expires. Seekers destroyed too. They're sticking to defuse. They do get pushed off of it because of the nano swarms and the mollies thrown on here. Shock darts as well. And Blaze King will find that kill. Eeyore finding one of his own. He just completely hooting them to this win. He finds a second. Scary and a piece. They find one. Flipjitter getting a double kill to end the round, then Boom Esports! Map number one as well. Black and blue, you can only see my, the expression on my face when that happened. Perhaps for X10, the timings were a bit off on the synchronicity of their utilities. And the round here, Zeus is gonna have to come up big and go for a play. Maybe make this happen, but Eeyore finds him, and this might just be done, Viminal. Boom Esports on match point, Rolling Thunder goes away. Flipjitter though, takes down Cruz. Gets another kill on yeah. to Scary. And it's all down to Sushi Boys. Perhaps it could have delayed it by a few more seconds in between those ultimates. I mean, they'd be in for a surprise because NC Slash is crawling up his way. Gets a double dink and that's a quick early entry into the Bravo site.
We very rarely see an entry frag by a sentinel, but Zeus will be answering back at least, taking down NC Slasher. He's going to be on the board. Spike's going to be planted here. Post plant scenario is in place for Boom Esports, but NC Slasher did his job. He paved the way for Boom to be able to safely plant the spike, avoiding the Viper's Wrath over there onto A site. Oh my gosh, Flitzger and Eeyore get a pick of their own. Scary gets a double, but Flitzger will be able to trade that out. Now it's going to be 2v1. Fox is down to 22 HP on the board. Will he be able to clutch this? Very unlikely that he will. Oh, maybe he spoke too soon. He did! He does! He He gets it! Fox is very sly. He just has enough time to get this defuse up. And Smoke is going to go out there as well to try at least stifle the plant and delay it for the time being. Asterisk, you know, he's losing a lot of HP points thanks to that decay and thanks to that nano swarm over there, but he does manage to get the spike plant down. 12 seconds left on the clock. Zeus struggling to stay alive over there at the back site. Oh, well, doesn't matter because they're doing a great job at cleaning up how... However, I'm double down on his reconnaissance with that drone as well. Sushi Boys will be trying to go for an early aggressive pick using this operator. It is pretty much a 50-50 gamble, but he manages to make it. I think it's... Well, they've retrieved it now, so that problem's done with... dealt with. Zeus finds that pick on the Blaze King. Nier is trying to dip his toes into this soup, but Sushi Boys deletes him in third person, which is hilarious to see. 1v4. He's trying to get a pick here and there. Oh! Get vertical position and angle of hold. Asterisk though, he does use that resurrection, but Sushi Boys! More of those plays more frequently because it's just so fun to see. And there we oh. go again! Sushi Boys is not done, Black and Blue! He's just getting started. Perfect textbook and how you want to play the Operator! He's at a 4k right now, almost getting a 5th! And Slasher, he does get that kill, but Zeus will confirm it. The damage has been up. They're looking to split this A site, the Cloud Brisk can give him some concealment, but I'm not sure if it's enough, they can see over it, and Zeus lines him on up, a double for him, Ear will get the trade off, but a shutdown quickly here by Foxes, scary chiming in, Veminal, it's a quick shutdown on this A site, this Blaze King, quickly melted down, Orb, come on, so, in the meantime, yeah. that's all they gotta really deal with. Cruzo, his sight lines have been covered up, and he lands a shot. Fox is doing the same thing on the other end of the map, and Sushi Boy is going to chime in to help the Guns flank here of Cruz on that op. Quick, they completely successfully sold this fake out, but still Fox just finds the frag on the flip shitter. It's huge here, coming from X10. The lockdown will be placed to try and buy them some space, and to try and go for the plant. It's just barely enough space there to hide from it. Nancy Slasher will use that uh, time given to go forward as Cruz will shut him down after getting a pick. One enemy remaining. Cruz gets a pick onto Blaze King, scary as well on the Odin yet again. Switches over to the Vandal though. It's all down to Eeyore, but from that Sage. The boys though will be attempting a repick and it does connect this time around onto Blaze King. Another impactful frag. Coming in from Sushi Boys, but Eeyore will be ending his tirade at the very least with a stinger at that range. Unbelievable, as Cruz gets the trade. We've seen lots of highlights of the stinger, um, at least here in Southeast Asia, on iceboxes. Well, if one to one frag goes either way, it's so a 2v2. They can try and go for a plan, but you can see they try for the fake out first and for Millicent. In that case, well, Asterisk walks in his demise, but he brings it to a 1v1 here, Flip Shitter. Odin versus Bulldog. An orthodox weapon, so having a clutch situation from both sides. Let's retrieve the Phantom. A bit more meta, a bit more typical. Gonna fake the defuse on out. He's gonna peek this over. But it's so dangerous against Scary, who has no fear in his heart, in his mind. the question, Feminal. 2 to 9, and even if they bring it to a 3 to 9, I'm not sure about their chances with this one. X10. Might just start to run away with this, but we're gonna have to see the end of the half first. Okay, Blaze King, blazing that path into the Alpha site. Not an easy task to do, especially with the weapons disadvantage that they do have, but he retrieves a Phantom off of it, and they can go for the plant now. Yeah, equalizing the odds at the very least. They are X10 is a man down. They just still do have the firepower advantage here. And he's Slasher oh. with 
the powerful Ooh. right here. A quick 2k. Zeus trains him out front. Blaze King is right there. We've seen uh, a bunch of, as chat likes to call it, illegal turrets here so far um, <laughs> in the tournament. Not necessarily truly Too illegal. Soon, they're, Too they're, soon. They've been, they've been uh, looking really fun. As for the meantime, the, the dink though goes in the way of X10, and by all means, I think they may be able to close this half. Eeyore opening things up there, but Zeus trade off. Sushi Boy's really nice shots by X10, and Zeus finds a second. Two to two on the board. Asterisk and Predator. Eeyore just can sure he's going to be uh, relinquishing side control, which is definitely a good idea. I think at this point in time, they can definitely go for that retake. Oh, Blaze King. Through the smoke, just runs past it and gets a kill, but Scary's not going to let him do any much more damage. 4v4, the plant will go down, no denial on that coming here from X10. Rather, sorry, from Boom Esports on that defensive side. As Boom looking to play the retake, they've got the utility and the ultimates to make it happen. Viper's Pit coming on now, they can go for the half here and let it go. He lets go of it though, I think he was forced off by something. Maybe a Nano Swarm, if anything, maybe some damage through shots, but case in point, not able to stick to get the half at the very least. NC Slasher is going to be able to get half the spike. He's going to be sticking it black and blue. Scary takes down Eeyore. But it's going to be a 6 to 9 scoreline in favor of Boom Esports. This is what one. Cruz at a very cheeky angle there. Foxes has his own skirmish over there in the mid lane. But Scary will be starting things off the first blood onto NC Slasher in round 17. Asterisk. Really oh. sneaky, going behind that barrier orb. See if we can actually get a pick or two here. But Eeyore will be taking down Cruz. Blitzinger, a pick of his own on the Sushi Boys. Oh, Zeus and Scary really. will be answering back. Zeus with a 2k. It's going to be down to Eeyore, but X10. Three round difference between these two teams. Flipshitter getting caught out, and that's the opening. life. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know how, but mm -hmm. Zeus eventually uh, will be getting Eeyore. All right, nice take here in the B site. Seems like, uh, I think, uh, on that, Scary watches maybe over there onto A site. Yep, 12 seconds left at the clock. There's no choice. There's no choice for uh, for X10 rather than to plant over here on A site. Pretty standard take right there, but at least NC Slasher. We'll be taking down another member of uh, X10. Cruz answers back and trades. NC Slasher asterisk will be bringing Flip Strider back to life. Hmm. We take his underway. Four versus three. And Cruz is a great position here to catch him off guard. And so does Zeus. Scary finding one. Cruz finding one of his own. Eeyore and Blaze do get the double though. And Zeus chiming in here. Lockdown place. They want this round. You're going to put the pressure even more. And Zeus will find the kill there. Absolute tipping point of a round for X10. Now, as we take a look at the economy in just a little bit, we will be able to determine whether or not Boom will have a huge gun advantage. It seems like they can all still afford full buys here. With the big X10, I'm not so sure. Marcus Fury out, we'll get that tag in, we'll tag him once again, and Asterisk taken down. This is the first step here for X10 making the comeback real. Spike planted. Eeyore, we'll be taking down Sushi Boys right here. This is, once again, the real last stand for this time around for Boom Esports. They have no choice but to play for overtime, obviously. Blaze King throwing those shock starts. Foxes will be taking down NC Slasher 4v3 at this point in time. Eeyore's going to be going for the tap. And this is going to cause X10 to go into a bit of a panic here, but Scary and Cruz, a tandem that is a force to be reckoned with. It's all down to Blitzshider. 45 HP. Blaze King, an exception to that rule with a half armor here, but X10 